Hi guys, here Michael Mark. So I would like to share this old poor lady. Her name Chin Nim, and she 83 years old, and she live in Cambodia, and in the village Kandung Tomb, and she had two children. So they all got married, and she used to be the Recycle collector live at Phnom Penh when she was young, so she, to raise these two kids. But after she get older, she cannot do anything. So um, her life is so bad because after her son, her two son got married, didn't take care of her, just uh, you know, didn't care much about her. So her daughter-in-law is not good they didn't have a good heart to take care of her but only way she can survive so she went to Phnom Tamau it means the mountain of black grandpa to sit there like people come over there to visit that mountain and then they give her some food some money to survive but only a week two days a week like on the weekend saturday and sunday she can receive some donation from a generous people that uh, went there to visit that mountain the mau mountain and the rest of the week like she live in the village with the poor you know life and have you know the home is not looking good at all it don't look like the home like over here in the United States. So she is survived by the people in the village give her some food to eat, you know, clothes to live. But uh, age is three years old. Grandma is so much sad and so much, uh, you know, upset about her story. And I don't know what to tell what to say and to bring this up but in a short story to share to the world to know so she so lonely and nobody take care of her in her old age but she working so hard to collect and recycle and sell it to raise those two sons but after those two sons as I mentioned about it got married and then her her sister I mean her daughter-in-law didn't take care of her. They have to sit there all day to get some support or donation from the other people for her life. Um, but in the United States, we get old people. We got some benefit to take care of her. But in our country, you can pull the map from Google you know, at Cambodian, those people, a lot of poor, a lot of suffering, a lot, it's no hope in the future, it's no future too, you know, it's uh, so much a sad, sadness, and nobody cares about her, it's a human life, it's feeling, you know, but I see this work out by Putak and Puwet at Cambodia, I live in the United States to share with them and then to uh, raise the money from here. Like people donate a few dollars or penny or 25 cents. I just got no money to send it to Cambodia, let him work on the charity work. But uh, this kind of a non-profit organization, a non-profit, he didn't earn any income, but he, he just feel sorry and feel compassion about those old people and to help out so I I do it for free too it no income so uh, I just get some money myself or the other people uh, just send it to Cambodia to help them out some what I can you know it's a lot of people poor but it's not only in our country but the other country in the world it poor too you can see by a television or a youtube video any social media too 
um, to a lot of poor people, but we have no connection. But here, I had a friend of mine that two guys who would then put that work on it, so uh, can be trusted. And then I send some money exactly go to where I want him to go and to help. But here, he's a charity trip, but he stopped by to and see all those people. It's so so sad, you know. I, I don't know what to say. It's just sad. And we here, we have clothes, we have place to live, we have everything. And then even retirement, we got the money and to pay for everything. But she didn't have any. Like one dollar equal four thousand real. You only can buy a pack of food. And how can she survive? But of course, it's not have the fancy stuff like or luxuries like here. She only sleep on, you know, the bamboo bed is if she's so lucky. Or they have the tin roof and the tin walls or the other way that they they have like um, the palm I mean palm tree leaf and then they put it together to make a roof. Because uh, over there it's warm climate, so it's not pretty cold like here. They can live whatever they can under the tree, especially they homeless. And uh, you can see a couple of widow because I do on the other channel you AKK share, but uh, I like to share to the world, speak some in English, and have it original video. I live it the same in the original language and the other people can see it too and can hear it too, understand it too, if they uh, can speak English. But uh, if you guys can speak English and you can watch and her story is like so sad. And then, well, that's all about it. You, if you guys haven't subscribed yet, if you like, you would like to support my channel, my works, please subscribe and click notification bell or you guys want to help, just share this video. And the other way, if you guys like to donate, like a few dollars or penny some, uh, depend on your guy, please leave the comment and we will start to work from there. All right guys, have a wonderful day and Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. I will speak back to Cambodia, okay? Thank you for your watching and support. ហើយលោកយាយក៏មានប្រវត្តិរឿងរ៉ាវជួចត់ហើយកូនមានកូនពីអ្នកទៅលក់អេចឆាយបាទនៅអាក្នុងពេញបន្ទាប់ពីការក
cho 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 con pro dương con pro con pro dương kia tha mới chừng bờ bờ ไปเลยเตี้ยใบนี้ปองอมหรือก็อมตะนึงมือเก๋ในปองที่องค์อาจบอกเพียงเช่นได้ยงนี้ยงอะไรได้ยงเช่นจังใครจำไหนจะกา
็ปิดจัดพอได้นะบ้านรวมโอนถึงออกเหนือกบ้านสุดาบ
ដោយជួចចត់របស់លោកយេឈិតនឹមដែលមានអាយុ 88 ព្រោះនៅយ៉ាងកំសត់លំបាកវិទ្យានិព្វអំផុតហើយនៅក្នុងពេលនេះផងដែររវត្តបានព័ត៌មនាំយកនៅថវិការរបស់សពរចុនគ